Hello everyone, my name is Raven, and welcome to Raven Gaming Labs, and welcome back to my next build engine tutorial. In this tutorial, we're going to look at extending our level and adding floor, wall, and ceiling textures, as well as the various things we can do to like raise and lower the sectors, and, um, you know, just general stuff that kind of goes in with all of that. It's pretty simple. And... All we need to do is launch our map and you could launch the you can just launch build and then load the map directly and we'll hit yes to load it and we'll hit enter on the numpad to um go back into 2d view and you can hit escape and then l and then you can navigate to whichever map you wish to load okay so let us i think we'll go if we hit Z, we can zoom out. I think we'll go this way. We have we have we have plenty of room, so it should be fine. Okay, so I'm just gonna kind of move the cursor over here, and we do that by holding the right mouse button, and then I'm gonna hover over this vertice here, and I'm gonna intentionally make a mistake here so that I can show you a fun way to, you know, fix, uh, you know, this if you ever happen to do it without having to back all the way out. And we'll just hit space, and then we'll go out. Eh, yeah, about that far. Actually, let's let's go down just a little bit. Okay. And then I guess we'll go maybe up to here. Now, if we were to try to place this here, it would say you must insert a point there first. Okay. So how do we how do we insert a new vertice on our line? Well, ironically and easy enough, it's just insert. Now the problem is, is that well, this kind of, uh, you know, kind of broke here. But that's okay. So what we'll do is we'll just hover over here. And now you can see we are completely uh, snapped back here to this uh, point. And we'll just go down here and we will hit space. And now we have ourselves uh, a very incomplete, um, you know, like, can't even see the wall there. Because it's not a complete sector. So how do we, you know, easily fix this? Because, you know, like if we were to hold over on this, you know, we can actually drag this around and now we've made, you know, just a triangle. Well, it's actually quite simple. We'll just put our cursor wherever we would like to put our vertice. We will hit insert. And this is still not connected. So that's okay. And we'll just drag it down to here. And when we let go, what happens is uh, we get this red line. And that means that we now have two separate sectors and you can now see that when you go into the 3d view pretty cool so now let's go down over here <clears throat> and let's just add like i don't know maybe a little square room a little bit and then we'll go up this way so let's zoom in just out a little bit and we'll just add a, a small little square room awesome and we'll hit enter. And now you can see that we have uh, a separate uh, sector. But everything, you know, looks like it's all connected as it should. And now we're just going to take this out. I believe that they're roughly the same size. If not, we can always extend it anyway. And I'm just going to go up to here. And I'll do like... So, all right, awesome. So there's a couple things we need to do here. First, we're gonna drag this up and over. And the reason I did that is so that it would more match uh, the other sector. I think they're roughly the same size now. Uh, actually, actually, I kind of think it was fine the way it was before, believe it or not, crazy as it is to believe. So I'm just going to hold shift, grab both of these, drag them in, and then go up here. Hold shift, just drag this one and drag it over. Okay. Actually, pretty impressive. Uh, Seem to have gotten it right the first time. Okay, yeah, this looks much better. Now, um, there's a lot of different things that, uh, you know, we could we could change. Now, you'll notice, as I previously talked about, we do have a limited number. 
of sectors. I'm sorry about that. Had to cough. And we only have four out of 1,024 sectors. Now, granted, we're probably not going to use all of the sectors for this tutorial series, but we do want to get into the habit of optimizing, you know, our, uh, our sectors and our walls and all that good stuff. So how do we actually, you know, like, how do we make this like one big sector? Well, pretty easy. First, we'll hover over our first sector, we'll hit J, and then we'll go over to here and we'll hit J again, and boom, now we have another sector. And we can do the same, and now all of this is just one big sector. But what you'll notice is, is we have some vertices that are just hanging out. And unless we want to create some strange geometry, which we don't, um, well, you know, how do we get rid of it? You know, the delete key doesn't work. Well, that's kind of easy. We just kind of drag it over to the nearest vertice, or any vertice really that's near it, and let go, and voila. That's it. It, it genuinely is. That simple. Okay, so now we're gonna spend the rest of the time. Oh, and another thing that I should point out, if I can't remember if I mentioned this, but the red line just means that it's a it's a border between the two sectors. So this is all one sector, and that red line just means that there's another. You know, this is one. This is sector one. This is sector two, and that's just the border between the two. And now if we hit enter here, we can navigate around and we can see that yeah things are looking you know pretty good okay so how do we increase the height of our levels well that's pretty easy all we have to do is put our cursor here inside of our sector and we can just raise this up we're gonna make this one particularly tall and then we'll put our cursor in here oh hold on Ah, why you do this to me? There we go. And I'm just going to raise this one up. I don't know how tall I actually want this to be. Um, That is a tough one there. Yeah, I think that's plenty tall. Actually, no, I think it's plenty tall. We'll, we'll give ourselves a bit of height so we have, you know, the appearance of, well, a lot of, you know, height and all. Now. How do we actually add a texture? Well, this is kind of easy. All we have to do is point at a wall, floor, or ceiling, hit V, and then you get this lovely, uh, you know, screen. And this is all like the wall textures that are in use in your level. And you hit V again, and then you get all the textures that you have access to. Now, the cool thing is, is you can hit G, and you can go to any specific tile. So like in my case, I can say, I can do three, four, nine, and hit enter. And it'll take me to this wall texture. And then I'll just hit enter. And boom, we have ourselves a beautiful wall texture. You know, I'm actually going to lower this just a little bit. Not too much. There we go. Just wanted to lower it just a little bit. Now, what if we wanted to, like, paste this texture, you know, all over the place? Well, that's easy. All we have to do is hit tab and then enter. Not numpad enter, just the regular answer and then we could just go around and just splat it everywhere we want the texture and we want it right here awesome now you'll notice that right now our textures are mm, a little out of line if you will and we can we can fix that and we will look at how to fix that in just a second but the next thing we're going to do is we're going to assign ourselves a floor. Now, I already pre-picked out all these uh, floors, but, you know, everyone can, you know, use whatever uh, texture that you're willing to, you know, find and look for and so forth. And same as before, we just hit tab and then we just hit enter. We don't actually have to go in here for this part. Uh, we can hold left shift to move faster. But as you can see, we have our beautiful floor. And now we'll just look up here and... We want to do 303 for the ceiling. I don't know if this is actually a good texture or not, <clears throat> but you know what? That's what we're using. And there you go. So now we have everything. Oh, you know what? We left a guy out. Mm. There we go. Now everybody's all matching. Now there's a couple different ways 
that you can, um, you know, adjust textures. Now, I wasn't able to get this to work until I ironically turned off NumPad, and I don't know if that's a DOSBox issue. <clears throat> like, I don't know if DOSBox sees NumPad is off when it's actually, quote-unquote, on. I'm not sure. Um, and that may be the case. But with it off, we can use 2, 4, 6, and 8 to scale or pan the textures. And I'll explain the differences with that in a minute. And you can hold five while you're hitting two, four, six, eight to uh, move it in grid increments. So the first thing we're going to do is we're just going to put our cursor over here and we're just going to hit eight. And you'll notice that our texture is like really stretching and does not look good at all. And that is because we are scaling it. If we hold five and hit two, we'll just massively scale it down to where it's just like, like really rapidly. Ugh. And then we'll just hit two and we'll fix it. Now, what if we wanted to just pan the texture? Well, we're going to hover over here. We'll hold shift and then we'll hit two because, well, in this case, I guess we're raising it up. I meant to bring it down, but, you know, it's it's fine. And there we go. Now we have uh, matching. Uh, now we have a matching border and everything. Looks pretty cool, right? However, there is also another way. You can hover over a... Uh, wall and hit O. And what it'll do is it will align the textures with, you know, all the other walls and everything will match much better. Now, of course, you know, if you want a different look or you want a specific look, you can obviously, uh, you know, you can obviously, you know, oh, we should probably fix that one too. There we go. There we go. See, I look, that's looking very nice. That actually looks really nice. I'm actually quite happy with that. You know, this is like a 30-year-old tool almost. It's uh, 27 years old, give or take. And uh, yeah, it works pretty good. And that is everything that I wanted to show you all in this uh, tutorial. So you learned how to uh, make new sectors, merge sectors, uh, delete vertices. You learned how to assign textures to walls, floors, and ceilings. And you also learn how to align, how to scale the wall. And it also, by the way, the scaling and panning works on the ceiling and the, um, the floor tiles as well. And um, yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty much it. So now, now we need to try it. But we're going to go back into the 2D view. We're going to hit Escape. And we're going to do a Save As. And instead of you know, zero, 01, we're gonna change it to zero, 02 because we're gonna increment. And now we're gonna quit. Are you sure you wanna quit? We can save the changes. We'll do an LS and you can see our map is right here. And now we're just gonna run it. Okay, that was wrong. And you guys stop me. Like, come on. Okay, well, we're gonna launch into the game really quick, hang on. It does take a second. I mean, this, this is actually, yep. Yeah. This, this is, you know, emulating, quote-unquote, which is roughly the equivalent of a Pentium 90, and, well, it takes a little bit of time for the, the game to load. There we go. All right, so now we're in here. We have our beautiful little map. We can hit A to jump. And, um, yeah, looking pretty darn cool. So in the next uh, video... We're going to look at sectors and sectors, and we're also going to look at shading so that we can kind of, you know, change the lighting and so forth of our uh, level. And we're going to take a lot of what we learned in this tutorial into the next one. So thank you all for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if you like this channel and you want to support my work, you can support me on Patreon or you can become a YouTube member, either one. And uh, yeah, so you guys have a good one and I will see you all in the next one. Hey everyone, thanks for watching Raven Gaming Labs. Thanks to all the members and viewers who make RGL possible. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and don't forget to hit that bell so that you can be notified. If you want to become a member, hit the join button or link in the description below. Members get early access to videos, member-exclusive content, and more. As well, don't forget to join our awesome community over at Discord. Y'all have a good one.